Inflation describes the sustained increase in the general price level of commonly bought goods and services and is calculated as a rate of change of a price index over a particular period of time. A price index is a measure that examines the weighted average of prices of a basket of goods and services. The Consumer Price Index, the CPI, is a common measure that examines the weighted average of prices of a basket of goods and services typically bought by consumers. When the difference in the price index is positive, prices are rising and inflation is expected. This is the most commonly used measure of inflation in the United States. Cost push inflation is a type of inflation that occurs when the price of the inputs of production increases. If a company's costs increase, then profits decrease. To maintain profits, companies may choose to increase the price of their goods and services, which can then increase company revenues. However, increasing prices contributes to inflation. Demand pull inflation is a type of inflation that occurs when the demand outpaces the supply of goods. As real GDP increases and unemployment falls, more money is available for consumers to spend on goods. This increases aggregate demand, but capacity constraints mean that the price of goods rises faster than output of goods. Deflation, on the other hand, describes a sustained decrease in the general price level of commonly bought goods and services. This condition leads to a situation where the same quantity of money can buy greater quantities of goods and services. In modern economics, deflation is generally viewed as an indicator of serious problems in an economy. Falling prices can cause a deflationary spiral, which is a situation wherein deflation triggers circumstances that cause further deflation and production to stall. Deflation can have a negative effect on debtors because the real value of debts increases. Wealth transfers from poorer debtors to wealthier creditors, which can lead to a variety of economic and social crises. Deflation can have many causes. To monetarists, deflation results from either a decrease in the velocity of money in an economy or a decrease in the supply of money available to people. The velocity of money describes the speed with which money circulates throughout an economy from one holder to the next. Monetarists propose that the velocity of money in an economy is stable unless an event causes the velocity to change. For instance, a rising supply of money should lead to rising prices because there's more money available to be spent on the same quantity of goods and services. It follows that the opposite would be true and deflation would be caused by a reduction in the money supply. Throughout most of the 20th century, the U.S. experienced inflation, but there were some years when prices fell. Since 1939, deflation has been much less common, though there was a dramatic but brief recurrence of deflation during the Great Recession of 2008. Until the 1930s, it was generally believed by economists that deflation was a problem that would resolve itself without intervention. Low prices would lead to rising demand, stimulating economic recovery. John Maynard Keynes and his followers challenged this view by asserting that the economy was not self-correcting in this manner during the Great Depression from 1929 to 1939. Keynes proposed that intervention was necessary to counter deflation by increasing spending or reducing the tax burden. 